Hello YouTube, it is Elvile over here. In this video, I'll show you how you can remove Google Lock on A16. But before going to the free method, I'm going to show you how promotion with some technicians that can help you unlock your device remotely in just a few minutes. So uh, this is a link over here, elvile.com on that site, and uh, you can find the re help remote from these technicians. And uh, before before ordering, you can also reach them on WhatsApp. They will help you on every model on Samsung. And it doesn't matter what Android they have, Android 16, 15, 14 or so. Please note that this method was tested on July 25 and it is confirmed to work. But uh, however, Samsung may patch the exploit in the future update. So make sure that you subscribe in order to stay tuned. I've created this on my desktop, uh, A116U. And the device that I'm trying to unlock is one uh, A16 running on Android 13. For your device to work, it should run on Android 13, 14, or, or even lower, it doesn't matter, but not Android 15. And the first thing you need to do is you need to download Odin, and this is the software that we're gonna use to flush the firmware on the Samsung device. Okay, so let me save it somewhere here, and I'm gonna extract these files into the uh, A116U folder that I have on my desktop. Okay, so I'm gonna drag and drop these files into the folder and the first software is good to go. The second thing that you need to download is you need to download Android 15 firmware files. So for do, to do that, you're gonna have to go to the website samfw.com or a similar website where you can find the firmware for the Samsung devices and search for your model. In this case, it is A16, okay? So you need to scroll down over here and find an Android 15 file. I'm gonna use the latest one over here. Just click over here and then download from your file. I'm gonna choose the file to download the first option. You can choose any of the options to download the file. Uh, the first option will require you to sign in with Google account. So do so and uh, then click download. And I'm gonna start the download real fast after that. One second. Okay, so this is the link I'm gonna download anyway. And I'm gonna save it on the same folder where I have the other, the Odin file. Okay, A116U, 66U. Okay, so uh, while this file is downloading, I'm gonna show you a software which can help you put the phone into download mode uh, without buttons. To do so, just write this link, tinyurl.com slash albtool, okay? So this is a file, also another software that will, might be helpful for you. Click on download over here on the right. Download anyway. Okay, and then, great. So I'm gonna save it on the same folder also. And the next thing that you need to do is you need to put the phone into download mode. So the software, the third software that we downloaded will help you to put the phone into download mode. So let me extract these files first. Okay, so right click on it and then extract all, or you can just drag and drop it just like we did with Odin, it doesn't, it's the same method. Okay, and uh, open the folder over here, click on the key file, and the, over here there is a license key that you will be using to activate the software, and run the Elvial Shop software, hit yes on this one, Okay, so as you see over here, the phone is showing on my computer. I don't have the phone with me because this is a, a phone that I'm doing remotely. So this is just for demonstration. Click download mode over here. It will ask you for the license key and we, are, we already have pasted. Just hit paste and then click activate. Once you do that, you need to rescan. And once the port shows up, you're gonna have to click on the download mode. And uh, once you do that, the phone will automatically go to download mode itself, saving you some troubles without needing to do it with buttons. As you can see over here, it went away from my computer and it shows as download mode over here. Okay, now we're gonna wait for the firmware file to download. That's the third one that we needed and uh, we need to wait. So it will take just a few seconds. Let me speed up the process for you. 
okay the next thing you will need to extract the firmware files into the same folder so to do that just drag and drop them on the same folder okay okay i'm gonna get back to you once the copy is done it will take a while because it is like about seven gigabytes or something okay so now you need to run odin the blue icon over here odin 3.14.4 <coughs> click ok on this file and the files of the firmware we need to select one by one click on bl and locate the file which starts with bl on the firmware now click on cp and locate the file which starts with cp and click open okay same on the csc click on the csc locate the file we start with csc and then hit ok and the last file that you'll need to do is ap so again click on ap choose the file and hit open this one will take a bit longer to load so just stay uh, over there and after you do that you will need to click start and the flushing process will start automatically so let's wait for the file to load and i'm gonna hit start okay so now the file is flashing and you should see a bar on the on the phone in order and this will tell that the phone is already getting the newest uh, firmware update android 15. once you the once the update is completed you should see a success on the odin and this means that it's good to go all you need to do after that is just go through the setup and skip wi-fi so don't connect to wi-fi just go next next and uh, go through the setup and the phone will be completely uh, unlocked so just like i told you guys this is a method which works right now but it doesn't mean that it will always work so please stay updated on our youtube channel in order to get the latest updates regarding frp bypasses on samsung devices and also on other models Okay, guys, so thanks for watching. Give it a comment and uh, subscribe.